Hey friends, this is Katie with Katie Lyons Design. I am just hopping on. I'm playing around here with some new lighting I got. <laughs> and there's all kinds of different settings. I'm trying to see which makes my piece look the best. Um, hi, low. Um, but I wanted to come on and say hi. I was on live last night for about an hour when um, my live video was blocked. Apparently, I learned um, I had DVR recorded the voice and was playing it in the background and was called out for copyright infringement. So my hour long live that I had done painting and conversing and I had great engagement and was practicing my lives because this is something I'm new at, um, all disappeared and they wouldn't let me post it. So I wanted to jump on quick. I have to head out to hockey here in a minute, but I wanted to jump on and one, test my new lighting kit here, as well as show you the piece that I'm working on. Um, the windows are open and the patio and kids and dogs and husbands could come in and out, so just know that I'm human and <laughs> this is my life. Um, so anyhow, I wanted to show you this piece that I was working on last night. So I'm gonna scoot out of the way here. This is a really nice buffet by Ethan Allen. And here you can see I've already applied the white floor transfer by Redesign with Prima, and the whole piece was dark like this, and I just went right over the dark with the transfer. Um, another option would have been to paint the piece like a first coat in a like a white or a light green or some um, lighter color so that the transfer itself would be more vibrant. Um, it's turning out though I like this one in more of a muted fashion, so. Um, as you can see up here, I'm using Dixie Bell paints. If you can see those, I think so. Um, using Farmhouse Green by Dixie Bell. It's a chalk mineral paint. As well as Savannah Mist. Just kind of a light blue. And Gravel Road. which is, you know, a medium to dark gray. Dixie Bell was kind enough to send me a box of Happy Mail with um, paints of theirs to try. As well, I'm using the mini Dixie Bell brush. For any of you that jump on here or that catch this later, I'm sorry if you saw this last night, um, but as I mentioned, it disappeared and was blocked for copyright because a TV show in the background was playing music. So I wanted to show people the piece I've been looking, working on as well as some of the blending I've been doing. So as you can see over here, um, I was going with the lighter Savannah Mist, which is the blue in the center, and then a darker um, kind of blend on the outside of that, which was the gravel road, like a dark gray. So, um, I did the drawer here last night, started working on this door. It needs a little work, it needs a little more work over here and over here, and get the blue kind of evened out. It's a little trickier when you have this type of door. Um, and then I painted as well in between, um, in between the drawers here where I didn't have the transfer. Looks like that's just gonna need a second coat. And you can see too, there's some areas where the transfer, um, I kind of made the transfer look a little more weathered um, with sanding because I didn't want it to look perfect. This is more of a weathered piece, like a farmhouse style um, with some distressing. So I'm going to go ahead and paint. And if you have any questions, um, just feel free to post them and I will get to those as soon as I can. And if you're jumping on, please say hi so I know you're there. So I'm gonna use some of the blue and the gray. And 
And I usually have this done ahead of time, but I didn't right now, so bear with me. My goodness. Well, if I could get my paint open, that would be a good start. And we're gonna ignore that. Sorry, a call tried coming through. Okay, there we go. Okay, so for blending, what I like to do is have this Ultra Fine Mist Sprayer on hand. You just pick this up at Hobby Lobby. Um, it just does a really nice, fine Ultra Mist. Um, not looking to dilute the paint, just looking to move it around easier. So I am going to use a little bit of my Savannah Mist. as well as my gravel road. Blend those together. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my brush. My brush is damp. Just kind of mixing the blue and the gray together right now. I mix it together on a glass plate as well. Just gives it a little more of the, or it gives it, what am I trying to say? A, a paper plate absorbs the paint and I don't want my paint wasted on a paper plate. So if you use glass, you can use the majority of your paint. So this is just a combination right now of the blue and gray mixed. I'm just gonna go over it a little bit again here. mist. Again, the mist is really just to help move the paint around. Not looking to dilute it at all. A little too much on there that time. But that's okay. The thing with paint to remember is if you don't like it, you can paint it again. But I do have to say I'm really loving the Dixie Belle paint. Um, it blends really nicely. And if you know what I work on, I tend to do a lot of blending. Just love the look. Okay, I'm gonna work on bringing some of that darker gray now back into the edges. Actually, I can see this needs to move a little bit more. You want to have lots of paper towel on hand. Hi, Heather. Thanks for saying hi. Anyone have big plans on this Taco Tuesday? <laughs> Tacos, maybe? I like to wipe my brush off with paper towel when I can. And now I'm just going to work on adding in some more of that darker gray. I'm gonna use this one for the blending. So this one I'm gonna I keep drying off on my paper towel. I should not have started with that one. Hi, Leah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I caught Leah live earlier today. She was doing an awesome piece with like a beach theme, very cool. Yeah, I wish I had tacos too, Leah. I'm just jumping on quick. Um, on my way to hockey pretty soon. What colors are you using? I'm using um, Dixie Belle paints. Again, this is Savannah Mist, which is a light blue. And Gravel Road, 
which is a medium to dark gray. Um, and then I used some of this as well, which is farmhouse green, kind of a light green. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of my gravel road, the darker gray, and work that a little more into these edges again. to do with my dry brush is work pulling the gray kind of over into the blue. Yes, Gravel Road Heather is really nice. I really like that color. I'm trying to move my supplies over here. Not blocking. Okay, so then I just want to, with my dry brush, kind of pull gravel road into the blue. We're going to have lots of different layers with the paint. Which is good. I'm just really working right now on the blending. mentioned last night how I was going to take the hardware off um, usually on here on the door um, but I'm actually kind of just liking it as part of the design on the piece so I'm just gonna leave it there hi Lori thank you so I can go ahead and cover that up as well because I like how the hardware is looking as part of the piece. And this is my Dixie Bell brush. It's the new um, S30 that they just, not Dixie Bell, I'm sorry, Klingon, that they just released recently. So it's a smaller version of the S50. Love it, short handle. Nice if you have smaller hands as well. And it's really then just a process of adding and moving your paint until you get the look that you're happy with. And what I want to do then is bring some more of that gray into the center towards the blue here in the door. So again with the dry brush, Pulling some more in. heavier on there than I was intending so I'm gonna add a little more blue back into that and that happens it's no big deal it's nice and easy to just add some more blue to the gray because I want the shaded effect not a solid color that's a little lighter See, that was just a smidge, and yet it lightened all of the gray, which is nice. Anyone have big plans for tonight, for Tuesday? Um, Heather, did you use as much blending on the drawers 
that you put in the transfer? Um, not yet. Those um, I'm going to be working on next, so I'll be getting to that. Neat and organized. Lori, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much because I am about as far from neat and organized as it comes. So that's maybe the best compliment I've ever received. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Tony, you were saying no. What are you saying no to? Oh, plans tonight? I'm going to head it out to hockey in a little bit here. My little guy is always in some sport. We're getting to year-round hockey now. My little dog Maya. I'm sure she'll make an appearance here at some point. She thinks she's very fierce, but she's very small <laughs> and not nearly as fierce as she thinks she is. So if you're just jumping on, I'm just using this mister to kind of help me move the paint around, not looking to dilute it at all. I added a little too much gray, so I was just adding a little more blue back in. I want to get it to be the same tone as the drawer up above here. We just had a milestone for our page recently, you guys. We recently hit 4,000 likes, which is awesome. Um, super excited. Thank you to all of you who follow along and comment and hit like um, and share for us. That really does make a difference. So we so appreciate it. Okay, I think that's looking good now. Now I'm gonna work a little more with the blue and pull it towards the outside. And I have my paints mixed on a glass tray. I used to use a paper plate, but then I found that the paper plate absorbs so much of the paint. I would rather use the paint. Trying to figure out how to paint on the floor here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna work on this middle section here and pulling some more of that blue back in. Okay, give it a little mist. to what I'm looking for right now. So I'm just going to add a little more on here so I can move it around a little bit. And then I'm going to use my dry brush, which is this one, and spray another mist spray to help move the paint. So with my dry brush, I'm just gradually moving the lighter color towards the gray. And then I'll keep wiping off my brush. We've got a lot of water over here. That's really moving. That's all right. If you ever get too much paint on, which you sometimes can do, or too much water like I just did, you can just blot it off or um, baby wipes are phenomenal. And they are 
One of our tips and tricks as a painter, baby wipes will help with so many different things. If you're using glaze, they move the glaze around. A great product to have on hand when you're painting. Let's see, Heather. Heather says she's really loving the blending on this piece. She thinks she's gonna use these colors on her china hutch. Awesome. Yeah, these colors are turning out to be um, really nice together. It's a blue and a gray, and yet it takes on um, kind of a muted tone, so I really like it. Not everything I do is bold and full of color, but I do love color. <laughs> So I'm really liking this side over here, and a little too much water here, it's bubbling up on me. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull a little of that in. Oh, just a little more gray there than I want. This is getting there. Just a little highlighting. See how that water just moves it right along, which is nice. We don't want too much. Sometimes it's hard to know when to stop. <laughs> like I should have just stopped, but. Okay, I'm thinking that looks good and I can always go back and Add another layer over the top if I feel like it needs a little more blue in the center or if when I'm looking at all at it all it looks a little too dark on the door we'll see here okay so now um, I'm just gonna work on the frame for a little bit uh, then I'll have to jump off and run to a hockey game so we're jumping on again I'm Katie with Katie Lyons design um, would love for you to like and comment and share if you would be so kind. That would be fabulous. Okay, so I want a little more gray on the edges. So I'm gonna come in with the gray. And that would be like if I wanted to do a solid coat, but I'm not looking for a solid coat. I want it to be more of a gray, but how do I explain it? Almost like an iridescent. to be darker again around the edges so I'm gonna go with that and I'm gonna put some darker gray down here and the carpeting's being replaced eventually here so I'm really not too worried about that it's on you know my list of to do things as soon as I have time to rip it up that is at the beginning I was saying some of you might have been here last night I did like an hour-long live 
and I had a lot of engagement and people were talking and it was wonderful and then all of a sudden at like an hour in Facebook told me that I was breaking um, copyright infringement because the voice was playing in the back that I had recorded earlier and I did not know um, that that's a no-no. So don't have any music TV shows playing in the background while you're live. Um, they will shut you down. So I had to delete my hour-long live from last night, so I was really bummed. So if you're coming back again, thank you for being here. And it's always nice to know who's there. Um, I've said hi to a bunch of you already, but if anyone new is jumping on, please say hi. And I'm just adding some darker gray to the bottom of the piece here. But I don't want like a solid dark layer of gray. So I'm using the blending brush a little bit. Let's see, make sure you can see that there. And again, I'm learning with these lives, so forgive me if I'm blocking the piece or what have you. Every time I go live, it's a new experience. <laughs> and hopefully, this one will actually stay on. I don't have any music playing in the back, so hopefully I'm not infringing on anything. And I did get my new lighting, which I'm super excited about. Um, that arrived today. And did you guys know that Amazon now, um, when they came to deliver my package, it wasn't like a FedEx truck or a UPS truck. It was just some dude in his car um, <laughs> that had like the scanner and a bunch of packages in his car. So now I guess... Many people can work as a package handler now and deliver packages to more destinations at one time, I guess. So um, that was a new for me. So I don't know if anyone's experienced that before. Um, and um, I was just taken back for a minute. But then I saw he had his little scanner and he scanned it and handed it over to me. So I was like, wow, pretty nifty. So anyhow, all right. So I want the darker gray here and here, and then I want it lighter here in the middle. So that's what I'm going for right now. And then the sides of the piece, I'm gonna do kind of the same to match this look here, which I'll do not that you can see what I'm pointing to, on each side of the piece here. And then as well, I'll work on the top. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little more dark gray on this edge. And I normally work in my garage, not my um, living space, so to speak. But um, we just happened to have this piece upstairs where we are. And the other day I was like, oh, I have an idea for that. So it was like 10 o'clock at night. I pulled out my transfers and started applying. <laughs> Sometimes you just get the itch and it's, it's then or never. So that's why I'm working on it up here in my house. Because if my mom jumps on, I'm sure she'll be like, why are you doing that inside? <laughs> so that's the deal with that. messages coming through and kinds of things going on here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to go ahead and ask away. Be happy to answer. It looks like there's a piece of tape on here. Oh my gosh, you'll never know what you're going to find. So there was a piece of clear tape that I clearly missed.
So that's an area I'm going to have to go back and fix. Um, but luckily, I know how to do that. <laughs> okay, so I've got that corner darker, the bottoms. I'm going to work a little bit on the top. And I don't want to spray water on the transfer because it's not sealed yet. Um, so instead of spraying like this to get this top bar under here, I can, you can just spray the water on your brush. I just don't want to put water directly sprayed onto my transfer. So again, just looking for that lighter in the middle with the edges on, edges darker, kind of shadowed look. So I'll come back in here later then with some blue for the center. And I'm trying to decide, I've got um, a couple different ideas for this, where I'm gonna go with it. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go dark around the edges of the transfer as well, like each drawer here on top. Um, so I guess I'll see where it goes. Right now, I'm just working on the edges. And it sounds like my husband just pulled up, and we're going to have to head off to hockey here soon. So thanks for joining me, you guys. This wasn't very long, but I just wanted to get on and show you the piece that I was working on last night. Um, and again, I'm using Dixie Belle paints, um, which I have found are wonderful for blending. I'm really, really happy with the product. So if you haven't tried those, I'll go ahead and put a link at the top of the post so you can find retailers near you. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday night and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.